the crinoline is gone, but the provocative fan remains an accessory of fashion. Although the graceful gestures of the fans are familiar, their romantic sign language is seldom known. This means, I love you. At the height of its popularity, in the days of vigilant chaperones, there was a complete language whereby the ladies could communicate silent messages, a delicate method of expressing their personalities. In the past, a damaged work of art might have been thrown away, but now experts spend much of their time on special repairs. Various manufacturing processes, the method of pleating, of shaping the wood, and even of folding the fan, are trade secrets. The folding fan was invented in Japan in AD 670, although this, the oldest in the famous Juveleroy collection, dates from the 17th century. Held in front of the face by the right hand meant, follow me. The well-bred young man of bygone days would take the hint of this happen, a fan placed on the left ear. I wish to get rid of you. Eighteen ostrich feathers imported from South Africa made up this luxurious showpiece. Used with an open wide motion, the message, heavy with insinuation, read, wait for me. Worth more than 100 pounds, this 18th century Chinese fan is hand-painted on chicken skin. And now at last, she says, Yes. Never argue with a lady even when she says, kiss me. But remembering the dignity of her station, she goes no further and says, goodbye, with a gesture from a modern fan that bears comparison with the masterpieces of the past. 